Chaim Topol. Chaim Topol, born September 9, 1935, also spelled Haim Topol, mononymously known as Topol, is an Israeli theatrical, film, and television actor, singer, comedian, voice artist, film producer, author, and illustrator. He is best known for his portrayal of Tevya the Dairyman, the lead role in the musical Fiddle Around the Roof, on both stage and screen, having performed this role more than 3,500 times in shows and revivals from the late 1960s through 2009. Topol began his acting career during his Israeli army service in the Nahal Entertainment Troupe, and later toured Israel with Kibbutz Theatre and Satirical Theatre Companies. He was a co-founder of the Haifa Theatre. His breakthrough film role came in 1964 as the title character in Salah Shabadi, by Israeli writer Ephraim Kishan, for which he won a Golden Globe for Most Promising Newcomer, Male. Topol went on to appear in more than 30 films in Israel and the United States. He was described as Israel's only internationally recognized entertainer in the 1960s through 1980s. He won a Golden Globe for Best Actor and was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor for his 1971 film portrayal of Tevya, and was nominated for a Tony Award for Best Actor for a 1991 Broadway revival of Fiddler on the Roof. He is a founder of Variety Israel, an organization serving children with special needs, and Jordan River Village, a year-round camp for Arab and Jewish children with life-threatening illnesses, for which he serves as chairman of the board. In 2015 he was awarded the Israel Prize for Lifetime Achievement. Topol was born in Tel Aviv in 1935, in what was then Mandatory Palestine. His father, Jacob Topol had immigrated to Mandatory Palestine from Russia in the early 1930s and worked as a plasterer, he also served in the Haganah paramilitary organization. His mother, Rel, née Goldman, Topol, was a seamstress. Although the young Hayam wanted to become a commercial artist, his elementary school teachers saw a theatrical side to him, and encouraged him to act in school plays and read stories to the class. At age 14 he began working as a printer at the Devar newspaper while pursuing his high school studies at night. He graduated high school at age 17 and moved to Kibbutz Geva. A year later, he enlisted in the Israeli army and became a member of the Nahal Entertainment Troupe, singing and acting in traveling shows. He rose in rank to troop commander. 23 days after being discharged from military service on October 2, 1956, and two days after marrying Galia Finkelstein. A fellow Nahal troop member, Topol was called up for reserve duty in the Sinai campaign. He performed for soldiers stationed in the desert. After the war, he and his wife settled in Kibbutz Mishmur David, where Topol worked as a garage mechanic. Topol assembled the Kibbutz Theater Company made up of friends from his Nahal troop. The group toured four days a week, worked on their respective kibbutz scene for two days a week, and had one day off. The theater company was in existence from early 1957 to the mid 1960s. Topol both sang and acted with the group, doing both loudly. Between 1960 and 1964, Topol performed with the Batsalaya Rock, Green Onion, Satirical Theater Company, which also toured Israel. Other members of the group included Uri Zohar, Nahama Hendel, Zaharir Harifai, Ark Einstein, and Odad Kotler. In 1960, Topol co founded the Haifa Municipal Theater with Yosef Milo, serving as assistant to the director and acting in plays by Shakespeare. UNESCO, and Brecht. In 1965, he performed in the Camerai Theatre in Tel Aviv. Topol's first film appearance was in the 1961 film I Like Mike, followed by the 1963 Israeli film El Dorado. His breakthrough role came as the lead character in the 1964 film Salah Shabadi. Adapted for the screen by Ephraim Kishan from his original play, the social satire depicts the hardships of a Mizrahi Jewish immigrant family in Israel in the 1950s, satirizing just about every pillar of Israeli society, the Ashkenazi establishment, the pedantic bureaucracy, corrupt political parties, rigid kibbutz ideologues and, the Jewish National Fund's tree planting program. Topol, who was 29 during the filming, was familiar playing the role of the family patriarch having performed skits from the play with his Nahal Entertainment troupe during his army years. He contributed his own ideas for the part, playing the character as a more universal Sephardi Jew instead of specifically a Yemenite, Iraqi, or Moroccan Jew, and asking Kishan to change the character's first name from Saadia, a recognizably Yemenite name, to Salah, a more general Mizrahi name. The film won the Golden Globe Award for Best Foreign Language Film, 
and Topa won the 1964 Golden Gate Award for Best Actor at the San Francisco International Film Festival and the 1965 Golden Globe for Most Promising Newcomer, Male. Salasha Body was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film, losing to the Italian language yesterday, today and tomorrow. In 1966, Topol made his English-language film debut as Abu Ibn Kakhtan in the Mickey Marcus biopic cast A Giant Shadow. Topol came to greatest prominence in his portrayal of Tevya the Dairyman on stage and screen. He first played the lead role in the Israeli production of the musical Fiddler on the Roof in 1966, replacing Shemuel Rodensky for ten weeks when Rodensky fell ill. Harold Prince, producer of the original Fiddler on the Roof that opened on Broadway in 1964, had seen Topol in Salasha Body and called him to audition for the role of the 50-something Tevya in a new production scheduled to open at Her Majesty's Theatre in London on February 16, 1967. Not yet fluent in English, Topol memorized the score from the Broadway cast album and learned the lyrics with a British native. When Topol arrived at the audition, Prince was surprised that this 30-year-old man had played Shabadi, a character in his 60s. Topol explained, a good actor can play an old man, a sad face, a happy man. Makeup is not an obstacle. Topol also surprised the producers with his familiarity with the staging, since he had already acted in the Israeli production, and was hired. He spent six months in London learning his part phonetically with vocal coach Cicely Berry. Jerome Robbins, director and choreographer of the 1964 Broadway show who came over to direct the London production, redirected the character of Tevya for Topol and helped the actor deliver a less caricatured performance. Topol's performance received positive reviews. A few months after the opening, Topol was called up for reserve duty in the Six Day War and returned to Israel. He was assigned to an army entertainment troupe in the Golan Heights. Afterward, he returned to the London production, appearing in a total of 430 performances. It was during the London run that he began being known by his last name only, as the English producers were unable to pronounce the voiceless uvular fricative consonant head at the beginning of his first name, Chaim, instead calling him Shame. In casting the 1971 film version of Fiddler on the Roof, director Norman Jewison and his production team sought an actor other than Zero Mostel for the lead role. This decision was a controversial one, as Mostel had made the role famous in the long-running Broadway musical and wanted to star in the film. But Jewison and his team felt Mostel would eclipse the character with his larger-than-life personality. Jewison flew to London in February 1968 to see Topol perform as Tevya during his last week with the London production, and chose him over Danny Kaye, Herschel Bernardi, Rod Steiger, Danny Thomas, Walter Matthau, Richard Burton, and Frank Sinatra, who had also expressed interest in the part. Then 36 years old, Topol was made to look 20 years older and heavier with makeup and costuming. As in his role as Shabadi, Topol used the technique of locking his muscles to convincingly play an older character. He later explained as a young man, I had to make sure that I didn't break the illusion for the audience. You have to tame yourself. I'm now someone who is supposed to be 50, 60 years old. I cannot jump. I cannot suddenly be young. You produce a certain sound, in your voice, that is not young. For his performance, Topol won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy the St. Jordi Award for Best Performance in a Foreign Film, and the 1972 David D. Donatello for Best Foreign Actor, sharing the latter with Elizabeth Taylor. He was also nominated for the 1971 Academy Award for Best Actor, losing to Gene Hackman in The French Connection. In 1983 Topol reprised the role of Tevye in a revival of Fiddler on the Roof in West End Theatre. In 1989, he played the role in a 30-city U.S. touring production. As he was by then the approximate age of the character, he commented, I didn't have to spend the energy playing the age. In 1990-1991, he again starred as Tevye in a Broadway revival of Fiddler at the Gershwin Theatre. In 1991, he was nominated for a Tony Award for Best Performance be a leading actor in a musical, losing to Jonathan Price in Miss Saigon. Topol again played Tevye in a 1994 London revival, which became a touring production. In that production, the role of one of his daughters was played by his own daughter, Adi Topol Markala. Topol reprised the role of Tevya for a 1997-1998 touring production in Israel, as well as a 1998 show at the Regent Theatre in Melbourne. In September 2005 he returned to Australia for a Fiddler on the Roof revival at the Capitol Theatre in Sydney, 
followed by an April 2006 production at the Lyric Theatre in Brisbane and a June 2006 production at Her Majesty's Theatre in Melbourne. In May 2007, he starred in a production in the Auckland Civic Theatre. On January 20, 2009, Topol began a farewell tour of Fiddler on the Roof as Tevya, opening in Wilmington, Delaware. He was forced to withdraw from the tour in Boston owing to a shoulder injury, and was replaced by Theodore Bikel and Harvey Firestein, both of whom had portrayed Tevya on Broadway. Topol estimated that he performed the role more than 3,500 times. In 1976, Topol played the lead role of the baker, Amiable, in the new musical The Baker's Wife, but was fired after eight months by producer David Merrick. In her autobiography, Patti Lupone, his co star in the production, claimed that Topol had behaved unprofessionally on stage and had a strained relationship with her offstage. The show's composer, Stephen Schwartz, claimed that Topol's behavior greatly disturbed the cast and directors and resulted in the production not reaching Broadway as planned. In 1988, Topol starred in the title role in Ziegfeld at the London Palladium. He returned to the London stage in 2008 in the role of Honoré, from Maurice Chevalier's 1958 film Gigi. Topol appeared in more than 30 films in Israel and abroad. Among his notable English-language appearances are the title role in Galileo, 1975, Dr. Hans Zarkov in Flash Gordon, 1980, and Milos Colombo in the James Bond film For Your Eyes Only, 1981. He was said to be Israel's only internationally recognized entertainer in the 1960s through 1980s. In Israel, Topol acted in and produced dozens of films and television series. As a voice artist, he dubbed the Hebrew language versions of The Jungle Book and two films in the Harry Potter film series. He is also a playwright and screenwriter. He was featured on two BBC One programs, the six part series Topol's Israel, 1985, and earlier it's Topol, 1968. A Hebrew language documentary of his life, Chaim Topol, Life as a Film, aired on Israel's Channel One in 2011, featuring interviews with his longtime actor friends in Israel and abroad. A baritone, Topol recorded several singles and albums, including film soundtracks, children's songs, and Israeli war songs. His albums include Topol with Roger Webb and his orchestra, Topol 68, 1967, Topol sings Israeli freedom songs, 1967, War Songs by Topol, 1968, and Topol's Israel, 1984. He appeared on the soundtrack albums for the film production of Fiddler on the Roof, 1967, and the television production of The Going Up of David Leave, 2010. His autobiography, Topol by Topol, was published in London by Wine Den Fell and Nicholson, 1981. He also authored To Life, 1994, and Topol's Treasury of Jewish Humor, Wit and Wisdom. 1995. Topol has illustrated approximately 25 books in both Hebrew and English. He has also produced drawings of Israeli national figures. His sketches of Israeli presidents were reproduced in a 2013 stamp series issued by the Israel Philatelic Federation, as was his self portrait as Tevya for a 2014 commemorative stamp marking the 50th anniversary of the Broadway debut of Fiddler on the Roof. In 1967, Topol founded Variety Israel an organization serving children with special needs. He is also a co-founder and chairman of the board of Jordan River Village, a year-round camp for Arab and Jewish children with life-threatening illnesses, which opened in 2012. Topol was a recipient of Israel's Kiner David Award in Arts and Entertainment in 1964. He received a Best Actor Award from the San Sebastian International Film Festival for his performance in the 1972 film Follow Me. In 2008, he was named an outstanding member of the Israel Festival for his contribution to Israeli culture. In 2014, the University of Haifa conferred upon Topol an honorary degree in recognition of his 50 years of activity in Israel's cultural and public life. In 2015, he received the Israel Prize for Lifetime Achievement. Topol married Galia Finkelstein in October 1956. They have one son and two daughters. The couple resides in Gaia's childhood home in Tel Aviv. Topol's hobbies include sketching and sculpting. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.